Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do a redox reaction. This is a pretty complicated task that involves multiple steps, so be sure to pay attention throughout the entire video. Redox reactions or oxidation reduction reactions primarily involve the transfer of electrons between species. The species that lose electrons are said to be oxidized, while the species that gain electrons are said to be reduced. Now we're going to go over how to find an oxidation number. Finding oxidation numbers is crucial to a redox reaction because it gives us the overall net charge of a molecule. Uh, here are the three rules in finding an oxidation number. First, atoms in elemental state always have the oxidation number of zero. Now, single atoms are equal to their charge. And rule three, is these are just some exceptions to the rule, so fluorine always has a charge of negative one, oxygen always has a charge of negative two, and hydrogen always has a charge of positive one. Okay, now we're gonna go over each individual step in a redox reaction. Step one is to set up the half reaction. If you don't know what a half reaction is yet, don't worry about it. We'll go over an example problem later in the video and you'll learn exactly how to do it. Second step is balance the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. Step three, Balance oxygen with water. Step four, balance all hydrogen atoms with hydrogen atoms. So therefore, you will now have hydrogen atoms equal on each side. Step five, add up the charges and make both sides equal by adding electrons. Step six, all electrons, the electrons on both sides must be equal. If not, multiply each side by the lowest common multiple. And step seven, add together the half reactions. All right, now it's time to get into an example problem. So, as you recall from the previous slide, the first step to a redox reaction is finding the half reactions. All right, so when we look at this, this is our problem. We have Cr2O7 2 minus plus Fe2 plus yields Cr3 plus plus Fe2. 3 plus. All right, we got to find the half reaction. So as we see here, we have an Fe2 plus yields an Fe3 plus. Just by looking at that, we can tell that the iron actually loses an electron, therefore it is oxidized and goes up one. So our half reaction for iron would look like this. Fe2 plus yields F E3 plus and this is the oxidized when looking at this we have chromium on this side and chromium on this side it's chromium 3 plus and on this side we need to find it so this molecule has a net oxidation number of 2 minus as you call, recall from earlier in the video oxygen actually has a net char a net oxidation number of 2 minus so there's seven oxygens, so that's a total of 14 minus. So we need uh, 14 minus to add up to two minus, therefore the CR2 is 12 plus, and then each individual chromium atom is six plus. So let's write this down really fast. Reduced portion of this, it'll be our chromium. So we have CR2O7, two minus, and this has a net of plus six, so we're just gonna put that up there. You would CR3 plus. And that's what we got for that one. All right, so we just got our half reaction for the chromium right here. And our next step is to balance the half reactions. So for the oxidized one, we see one Fe and one Fe, so that looks good over there. On this side, we're supposed to balance everything besides the oxygen and the hydrogen. So look, we look at this, we have a CR2 and a CR. Oh, need an extra chromium. Bam. Now, balance the oxygen atoms by adding the appropriate number of water molecules to the opposite side of the equation. So let's check this oxidized reaction. Fe, oh, no oxygen. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have seven oxygen molecules. So we have to add plus seven 
H2O. Sorry about that being sloppy. All right, next step. Balancing the hydrogen atoms, including the ones we just added to the other side of the equation. You need to balance these hydrogen atoms using hydrogen ions. Okay, now we look at the oxidized portion. No hydrogen atoms to balance. We look at the reduced portion, and we have seven H2Os. So that means 14 total hydrogens. So we're going to add 14 hydrogen atoms to the left side, to the other side of the equation. You need to balance these hydrogen atoms using hydrogen ions. Okay, now we look at the oxidized portion. No hydrogen atoms to balance. We look at the reduced portion, and we have seven H2Os. So that means 14 total hydrogens. So we're going to add 14 hydrogen atoms to the left side. All right, the next part of this is to add up the charges and make sure the charges are equal on each side. So for this oxidized portion, we have Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. So the charge is bigger on the right side. So we're going to add one electron that side so you have an Fe2 plus use Fe3 plus plus a an electron and we'll put a barrier right here just so it doesn't get messy okay and then now we move on to the reduced portion and we see we have 14 hydrogen atoms and this portion right here is a net oxidation number of 2 minus. So 14 H plus plus 2 minus is 12 plus. So we have 12 plus on this side and 2 CR3 pluses and 6 plus on this side. So we need to add 6 electrons to this side in order, in order for the charges on both sides to be equal. So we get 14 H plus plus 6 E minus plus CR2 O7 2 minus use 2 CR3 plus plus 7 H2 O Alright, so the next step in this process is to make sure that both reactions have the same number of electrons. So over here, we see that we have six electrons, and over here, we only have one. So we want to multiply that, all of this, by the lowest common multiple, which would be six in this case, times six. So now on this side, we're going to have six Fe2 plus yields. 6 Fe3 plus plus 6 E minus. Now it's time for one of the most important steps in the entire video, and that is recombining the half reactions together. So we're going to add the reactants of the oxidized and the re reduced equations together, and then the products of the oxidized oxidation reaction and the reduced reaction. So basically what we're going to have is we're going to add this 6 Fe2 plus with this side right here plus 14H plus plus 6E minus plus Cr2 O7 2 minus. This yields <coughs> 6 Fe3 plus plus 6E minus plus 2CR3 plus plus 7H2O. And one way to check your work right here is if the electrons are equal on each side, and if they are, you just cancel them out. Bam, bam. And then this will be your final answer without the 6 E minus the six electrons on each side. And the ultimate way to check your work is to check the charges on each side 
and see if they are truly equal now. All right, so we set six times two plus. So we got, this is 12 plus right here. This is 14 plus, and this is two minus. Yields six times three, 18 plus, plus six plus. What do these add up to? 12, this is 26 minus two, we got 24, 18 plus six, 24. And that's how we check if we got the problem correctly right there. And that, guys, is how you do a full-on redox reaction. I know there's many steps, there's a lot, of, a lot to remember, but once you get the hang of things, it'll come with ease.